one-to-one -one functions, inverse functions. The first definition we're going to talk about is a function. So a function is a relation in which each possible input value leads to exactly one output value. We say the output is the function of the input. So the input values make up the domain and the output values make up the range. So in general, when we talk about domain and range or input and output is the domain is all the possible x values and the range is all the possible y values. So that's in general how we talk about it because we deal with a lot of x and y functions. So now the next definition says this, a one-to-one -one function is a function in which each output value corresponds to exactly one input value. So let's take a look at the problem below. It says in the following exercises determine if the set of ordered pairs represents a function, and if so, is the function one-to-one? -one? So the first thing to look at is we have to determine if this is a function. So if it's a function, that means each possible input leads to exactly one output. So that means I'm going to take a look at all of these x values. And if you look at each x value, they're all different. So that's an indicator right away that this is going to be a function because every x is going to exactly one y. So for this first example, this would be a function. So I'm going to write function here. Now the second part of this says, is it one to one? So now that means if I go to the second definition, each output value corresponds to exactly one input value. So every element in the range goes to a different element in the domain. So we'll see if that happens here. So when I look at this one here, I'm looking at the ranges now. And I'm going to see if any of them are the same. And notice here, I have a few that are. I have this one here, and I can just take the one. It doesn't matter which one. Just take any one of them. Now what this is saying is, this says, hey, I have two fours in the range that go to two different values in the domain. So this tells me that each output does not correspond to exactly one input. It actually corresponds to two. So that tells me then this is not one to one. For that reason. Okay, because each output doesn't go to exactly one, at least for this example, I had one output that went to two different x values. So it didn't go to exactly one input. So that's what that says. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next one. So I'm going to clear all this out. All right, the next one says, we're looking for the same thing here. First of all, I want to see if it's a function. So I look at all my x values. And what I see here, oops, right away I ran across where I had two ones for x's. And notice the y values for those. One went to negative one and the other one went to positive one. All right, so that means, let me go to the first part again. Ex uh, each possible input value leads to exactly one output. So this tells me this is my input is the one, and it's going to a negative one here and to a positive one there, which are is not exactly one output. So this would tell me it's not a function. So I don't have to worry about this one being one-to-one -one since it's not a function. Because in order to talk about a one-to-oneness, that means it has to start out as a function. So therefore, we don't have to go any further with the second example.